You're watching the number one adventure show, Hooked on Utah, powered by Ford. Hey, welcome to Hooked on Utah. Today we've got a very fun adventure. I'm here with Tanya Kiefer from the DNR, and it's all about urban fishing. School's out, it's time to take your kids out. We're gonna show you some great places in your backyard where mom and dad you can just drive to and catch a bunch of fish. So sit back, relax, and watch me bring the beat down on Tanya. We're having a little competition. He's not gonna win. <laughs> He's not gonna win. Here on Willow Pond, this is one of her favorite ponds. She spent a lot of time here, bluegill, bass, catfish, trout. I mean, this is a great little fishery right in your backyard. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna chase a little bass right off the bat, see if we can't catch a few. I've never been here, Kiefer lives here. I don't know, I might follow her just a little okay. bit, shadow her and see what she does. You don't follow me, Gary. This is a competition, it's friendly warfare. I mean, I've never done this before, so. I don't know if you noticed, but Kiefer's got a pink reel. Joe, what's going on? It's really good. This is a great little fishery for the community pond. It's a, it's a nice opportunity, especially for myself as a retiree. I come out here fish a couple hours in the morning. I come out fish a couple hours of the, in the afternoon. I'm like a mile away. So it's really a nice thing. It's a, the, the natural resources do a great job providing fish for us. So it's, a, it's excellent. The ecology of the pond is very diverse, yes. The, you know, you've got quite a variety of bird life. You have, um, you've got the bass, you've got rainbow trout, channel catfish, um, all the bluegill you can handle. I mean, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool pond. All right. Get out of here. <laughs> she wants to start sure. ahead of time, so she want to make sure I had my license with me. Oh, Kiefer's legit. Oh. Getting any good bites? It's all right. Dude, this is combat fishing. I'm not cutting you any slack. The keeper is, uh, she's hooked up right here on a trout. Oh, off. That doesn't count. If we were doing this for food, we'd be starving. We'd be done. It'd be over. I'm stealing keeper's hooks. We're now we're going to bluegill with Kiefer, so. This is one of kids' favorite parts, seeing the fish actually take the worms. And maybe mine too. And fish on. Nice, look Bam. at that. Bam. Look at that cute little fish right there. This is what kids will love. You bring them out here to the park, they get to see the fish, take the bait, catch it, release it. You can identify it as a bluegill. It has this nice spot right here in its gill cover black. Um, you can hardly see it, but it does have black vertical stripes. It also has a nice black spot right here. They are resilient. They can be put through a lot. About the same, actually just a little bit larger. Another bluegill breeding colors. Also notice that shiny yellow. You know what? No matter how many times they get caught, they'll, they'll keep coming back for more. They're hungry little buggers. This is Tanya's little secret spot right here at Willow Pond. It's a great little fishery. You can bring your kids out. Summer's here. School is out. They're going to want to do something. You know what? Rather than have them inside playing video games, watching movies, just drive right over here. You're going to catch bluegill, trout, bass. This is a great way to spend a summer day. Keeps them out of trouble. Teaches them to love the environment and have a great time. Oh, there you go, Keith. You want to put this in your pocket and take it home? Look at this. Only if I can call it Squish. Oh, my. And I will call him Squish. Girls can get 32. So it's just, you know, I just want to show you. 
awesome. Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Mountain America Credit Union, your home, your business, your life. Browning Firearms and Outdoor Gear, the best there is. And Big O Tires, the team you trust. Kershaw Knife Technology, made in America. Goal Zero, renewable electric power anywhere. Catch the big ones, Gary Yamamoto Custom Base. The Kengar Ford Store in American Fork, 800 by Ford. Apply for a new mortgage from Mountain America and receive a $250 bonus when you close. Visit Mountain America's website, macu.com, for details. This special offer is for a limited time only, so apply today. If you love hunting and fishing as much as I do and you're sitting back there thinking, how can I own a piece of Utah? I want you to go to utahsportsmanproperties.com. We're right here at the base of the Uinta Mountains. We've got ice cold springs running into these beautiful ponds. They're loaded with steelhead, German brown trout, smallmouth bass, the rich heritage from the Spanish gold mines to the Uinta Mountains right here. This is your dream piece of property. utahsportsmanproperties.com, check it out. Man, these are beautiful. This is called Blue Goo, and uh, a couple of different size spray bottles, and this is the Blue Goo Paste, and this is absolutely an incredible product. It is designed to clean your lenses, whether they're sunglasses, prescription glasses, camera lenses, safe for all lenses. I'm going to clean you off, folks. Clean as a whistle, safe for all lenses. We use it on our HD equipment. You guys will love Blue Goo. Apply for a new mortgage from Mountain America and receive a $250 bonus when you close. Visit Mountain America's website, macu.com, for details. This special offer is for a limited time only, so apply today. If you want to get geared up for this week's adventure, then stop into your conveniently located Sportsman's Warehouse. The rod that I would be using, really nice bait casting rod. It'll cover me from bass to crappie to striper. Yamamoto Hula Grub, Flappin' Hog, pitch these right up into the cover, set the hook when you feel the tick. Select a line that's gonna be able to withstand the pressure that fish can put on it. Fluorocarbon in a 10, 12, or 15 pound line test is a great selection. This time of year, you know what I like to do? I grab an SPF 50 and I use it as hair gel just to make sure I'm taken care of. Nothing beats fresh fish. Fillet them up with a Kershaw knife, razor sharp edge, give you great fillets every time. Okay, we've come to Tanya's second spot on our urban tour of uh, these cool little fisheries. Where are we, Tanya? We are at Sunset Pond in Draper. Um, it is part of the Maribyrn um, Parks. Uh, it's kind of off in the, you know, off in the middle of this giant suburb area. If you didn't know where it was, you would never even probably stumble upon this. Um, the very beginning of the park starts out with a really nice little wetland area. And then uh, it's just a one acre little pond, so it's small, completely secluded by trees. A lot of private homes all around it, um, you know, handicap accessible, ramp, um, it has a nice dock to it and there's a lot of fish diversity. Now what are we going to be fishing for? We've got different species we can go after. We are going to go after everything, you know, there's bullhead in here, there's channel cats, uh, you know, I've had rainbows over winter from last year, um, set some trap nets in here last year and actually had the most diversity out of any of my ponds that I've checked so far. Got one, Kiefer? No, oh, I had a bite though, it's a good one. This is the money right here. Garlic power bait. Yeah, gross, but it works. Smells delicious. Kind of Olive Garden-esque. No, you see this? <laughs> this, fish is, this fish is winning. Yay! Nice, Tanya! A baby trout. Oh, look how cute. This little tiny little planter. He, uh, He's pretty small. His teeth are pretty small, so he's not going to injure me too much. Just a little baby rainbow, probably about seven and a half, eight inches. Um, squirmy little guy. 
We plant an average of about a 10 inch fish in most of these ponds. Finally, one fish. Two if you count the one I didn't get all the way out of the water. We we'll count it because a hookup is a hookup. A hookup is a hookup. Fish on, baby. Oh, you did? Is it a bass? No, Charles. A large mouth bass. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a baby. Nice little large mouth bass, little guy. Caught him on just a little crappie jig, actually. Just trying to find the size that works. Throwing out off the steep bank, dropping it in. I mean, Tawny's putting the pressure on. She's already landed a nice fish. I gotta get my A game going. Nice little largemouth right here, pond number two. What a great fishery. Right in town, drive in, have a great time, bring your kids, beautiful park benches, docks. This is awesome. We're gonna move to pond number three now. Just give you a taste of what uh, Tanya has to offer here with all these very cool community ponds. Let's do it. Go, pond three. number three. I brought some reinforcements for Tanya. It's middle of the day, school's out. I brought Bronco, brought my son Brooks, who just came from the dentist, and brought him as reinforcements for Tanya. So we're here at Highland Glen Park. This is one of your other ponds. Yeah, it, this is uh, one of the you know few now in Utah County. Um, it is a you know that's a lot bigger than some of the other ones. It has just as many fish as the other ponds: bluegill, bass, and a rainbow trout and channel catfish to get stocked here as well. So. It's used just as, as much as the rest of the other ponds. So here's another beautiful another urban pond you can bring your kids to and they can catch fish. Beautiful facilities, they've got pavilions, they've got restrooms, they've got it all. So, Bicycle path. Yeah, absolutely, right here in the heart of Highlands. So just another place, you don't need to leave town if you want to catch fish and have a great time. So now let's go see what Tanya and her team can muster up against uh, Team Gary. It's me and Gary. the kids, it's me and the kids. Okay, let's pitch your bait down there. Come here. I'll set the hook for you and you can look. She's looking at it. She doesn't want it there. Here we go. She's going to pick it up. Suck it up. Oh. Hi, I'm Karen Miller Coleman, Doug Miller's daughter. My dad loved introducing us to the scenic vistas of Utah. None more spectacular than the view from Dead Horse Point State Park. Enjoy this look back at his favorite wild places and wild things and get hooked on Utah. These pictures from sunrise show Dead Horse Point blushing red in the early light. 2,000 feet below the Colorado River carves out another day in canyon country just as it's done for eons. The gooseneck of the Colorado is directly below the point and the expanse of Canyonlands National Park stretches to the horizon. Dead Horse Point State Park, 18 miles west of Highway 191 near Moab, features a small campground and remodeled visitor center. The vastness of time and the eons of sunrises that have come and gone here in this canyon country is an unforgettable part of a quiet moment at Dead Horse Point State Park. Well, we're super pumped. The day's here. We've got our Ken Gar from American Fork Ford truck. We're over here at Big O Tires, and we're about to begin our Big O Big Rig conversion. You know, this is a sweet truck anyways. I mean, the, the Garf organization and the Garf Ford dealership set us up sweet, but we're going to take it to the next level with a lift kit. We're going to put some retractable running boards, airbags, steering stabilizer shocks on it. We're taking this rig to a whole new level. So day one, pulling it into the bay right now to kick it off. Keep it tight, keep it tight. Get her. Here, bud. That's a nice bass. Okay, whoop, just lift it up. Here we go. Yep. Look at this. Look at that quality little bass right there. You got it good and tight. Don't drop it. Nice. 
You got it? Yeah. Unhook. Un un hold on. Show the camera. Where are we? We're at Highland Glen Pond, aren't we? Highland Glen Pond. Here with Tanya Kiefer from the DNR, and we just hooked this nice little bedded bass sitting on a sitting on a bed. Pitched a little uh, Gary Yamamoto uh, shad down on there. Missed it the first time. Got it the second. What do you have to say, Bronco? Woohoo! Nice yeah, nice work. There you go. She'll come right back to her bed. What you do is just watch your bubble, and if it moves, start reeling. Watch your bubble. They're going to come up behind it and grab it. Just keep watching it and start reeling. There you go, Bronco. Nice yeah. one, Dad. Nice. Oh. Yeah, Dad, you're kind of team Plano. Team, there you go. Yeah, Dad's on team Plano with me. <laughs> Probably not with you. I'm on team hooked on Utah, baby, against uh, team DWR, DNR. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Open up. Give it a kiss. Oh. Team team uh, hooked on Utah. And Plano. And Plano. Team Plano. Oh. Nice. Oh, there you go, Bronk. Here you go. Oh, he came off. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> And the bluegill have it. See, they're up behind it right now playing with it. See that? There you go. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight, and you're on. Battle on. Game on. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Nice little fish. Yeah. Fat little butterball. Awesome. Yeah, dude. Look at that, dude. You're a fishing machine. You know, it's fast enough that. Uh, it's fast enough that it's enjoyable for the kids, and that makes a big difference. Sometimes when you take your kids fishing places that uh, aren't fast, and it takes a lot of time and energy to try to catch a fish, they lose their uh, desire to fish and the attention span. So this, where it's pretty quick, we're catching bluegills every couple of casts, and almost every cast we're getting hit, like the bobber's going right there, and the fish are playing with his worm. Um, you're going to catch fish. It makes it fun for the kids. So these ponds are awesome. Tanya and the DNR have done a great job of setting them up with quality fish, with the predator fish, the trout. Uh, great access, as you can see, and they're just right in your back in your backyard. Your local neighborhood more than likely has one of these ponds, and uh, you're going to have a good chance of catching some fish. You guys are rocking it. Fish on. Oh, you already caught one. Look at that. Bluegill. Bluegill, here, lift it up. Ooh, look at Show that! camera. That was awesome. What's her worm? <laughs> Team Kiefer takes the lead. High five, air high five. Yes. Yeah, we take the lead. Our Go team ahead. is winning. Yeah. Good thing I got a good team. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. There we go. Come on, reel it in, bud, reel it in. Big old tires everywhere I go. They've got the best tires and the price is unbeatable. Oh, brakes, shocks, and struts get everything done at once at Big Old Tires. For a limited time, buy four Big Old Brand tires and get two Lagoon All Day Passports. There's one more reason to buy those Big Old Tires. When we're up in the backcountry shooting, we need to have a power solution that's lightweight, rugged, and dependable. We've got a lot of gear with us that we have to keep powered up. We need to be in the moment and be ready and do our job, which is to capture the image and not have anything go wrong. When you say the Rifleman's Rifle, you're talking about the legendary Winchester Model 70. Today's Model 70 features a hammer-forged free-floating barrel, smooth action, and massive claw extractor. The all-new MOA trigger boosts accuracy and feels incredible. Zero creep, zero take-up, and zero over-travel add up to one-inch groups at 100 yards. And it's still made in the USA. This is a rifle you want to own. 
Spring has arrived here at the Ken Garf American Fork Ford dealership, and they're doing some spring cleaning by blowing out all the new 2011 Fords. They've got to go to make room for the 2012s. Now, they've got trucks like this with savings of up to $12,000. Other Ford cars and vehicles with savings of up to $10,000. So come on in, come visit my good friend, Big Bill Snape. He's gonna set you up with your new Ford vehicle and send you home with a smile on your face. KenGarFord.com. It's the final day of our project, Big O Big Rig, and we're stoked. Let me tell you what, I wanna walk you through what we put on this truck. I haven't even had it on the road yet. I'm very, very excited. So come with me and I want to show you what we did. The very first thing, we selected a Nitto tire. We also coupled that up with a beautiful 20 inch XD series wheel. We did a Fabtech lift, a four inch lift with Dirt Logic shocks. And then we also went down here, our dual stabilizer shocks in the bottom. We're running a little bigger tire, bigger setup. So we want to make sure that we've, we're nice and rock solid. One of the cool features I'm really excited about is our running boards. So we've got these very sweet running boards that drop in and out. When the door shuts, they raise right back up inside the truck. They're out of the way when you're out in the back country. Very, very cool. We do a lot of towing with our truck. You want some extra support, and we went with a sweet set of airbags. And those airbags are controlled with the compressor inside the cab so I can bring it up or down as I want. Big O, the team we trust with our Ford truck from Ken Garf. We are at Manila Park Pond in Pleasant Grove. Um, it's a seven acre pond. Just opened last year, officially. Um, we have a, not too many variety in here be, just because it's a colder secondary irrigation water. Um, so we don't stock catfish out in here. We don't have bass in here, but we do have quite a few rainbows, um, quite a few big brood stock rainbows in here for sure. I had two strike, and yeah, I like that. Come here, guys. Here, reel it in. There we go. Come on, reel it in, bud, reel it in. I did steal it from you, reel it in. Get him in, get him in. All right, look at that rainbow. There you go, look at that. Pretty cool, huh? High five, Team Plano. Okay, we're gonna let him go. All right, this is a normal sized planter trout. Seems like they're feeding on top today. All right, you want to reel him in? All right, dude, that is totally for you to reel in. Reel him in, reel him in, oh my gosh. Yay. Another planter, average size. Just number 14 treble hook. Little garlic power bait flowing on top, bam. Got your fishing situation all taken care of. Yeah, bud. Yeah! <laughs> yes. Uh, it's been a great day today. We visited, um, I think, four or five successful ponds so far. You know, I think we've caught something at every one of them. Uh, you know, this one has a plethora of, of you know, good-sized trout in it. They're really active at all times, I think, of the day and evening. And uh, yeah, we, we have rocked it today. We really hooked on Utah. What do you think? Yeah. Well, this is <laughs> awesome. You know what? Tanya puts in a lot of work, as do others, to make sure that we have great fisheries here in the state of Utah. And these community ponds are incredible. How many of them that are there in, there in the uh, Utah County, Salt Lake County area? In the Utah Salt Lake County area, we have 17 nice. community fishing ponds. Um, statewide, we have 49 currently. So any part of the state that you're going to, you can find community fishing waters. You know, chock full. We, we pack these things full, uh, you know, of trout and catfish, uh, bluegill and bass. And, it's fun no matter where you're going, whether you're in St. George, Logan, Cedar City, you know, Salt Lake City, anywhere you're going, you're gonna find a really awesome pond to, to visit. Yeah, these are fantastic. You know, you don't need to leave and travel long distances to have a great day of fishing. 
They're right here in your backyard. Go to the Utah DWR website, go yeah. to the fishing section, click on the communities link. You know what, you might be visiting your favorite pond and you just may run into Tanya. She'll teach you her tricks, tips and techniques that make you a great angler. She's awesome. She had my boys on fish all day today. You know what, same time, same channel, whole new adventure next week. We're hooked on Utah.